Good evening everybody, I'm Pappy and this is Days in the Garden and what you see in front of me right here are some seeds. Now these are seeds from my mammoth uh, sunflowers, I grew 30 of them this year and this is just seeds from half of the uh, the biggest head that I got so I sa I'm saving these seeds, the rest of my seeds I'm going to roast for uh, you know personal consumption. Uh, here I got some Blue Lake 274s that somebody just gave me from a big seed trade that I did. And uh, I also have some uh, Scotch Bonnets here. And uh, just a quick little disclaimer, if you're dealing with hot pepper seeds or hot peppers in general, use gloves, don't rub your eyes, don't pick your nose, and ladies and gentlemen, keep your hands above your belly button if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to show you this real quick. This is how I do it. I'm not necessarily saying that this is the right way or the wrong way. It's just the way that I do it. And for me, I collect uh, maybe 900 to 2,000 different kinds of seeds every year. And I've been doing this for eight years, so my seed bank is quite extensive. And it's important that I catalog, catalog every single one of these seeds the right way. Otherwise, I lose track of them, and then that seed will never get in processed, and will never get grown, and it's basically thrown away. Just because I want to make sure that I'm giving the right seed away to people during trades, and just giving them away to friends and family, or you know, giveaways on this channel, hopefully eventually. So, uh, real quick, uh, with these uh, abundance of seeds, I like to mason jars. Now this is just a pint sized mason jar. I found 200 of these not too long ago on uh, Craigslist. Lady had so many of them she didn't know what to do with them so she was giving them away. Fortunately she was in my town and I just stopped by, picked them all up. She asked me what I was doing with them and told her. So there's another person that I'm giving seeds away to because she grows a garden herself. So the mason jar I'm going to use for these seeds here, these sunflower seeds, now this is just the ones that I'm growing, and uh, they come in uh, these pint sizes, they come in quart sizes, jelly sizes, and uh, all sorts of sizes, so these are definitely handy to have around if you're saving seeds. Uh, I have shelves full of these guys, one day I'll take you up in my seed bank and show you. Uh, for these guys, the beans, I do it a totally different way. Now I already have this all labeled out and everything. I use these uh, coin bags here. You can buy them at any office store, uh, you know, Red Stapler, all those kinds of stores. Buy them at, you know, pennies on the dollar. And another thing I do, I picked up uh, a couple of years ago, maybe 10,000 of these from an art supply store that was going out of business. Uh, I got them for two cents each. These are painter jars, and these are really handy to have around for like little seeds like the uh, the peppers here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you now what I do with them. First, I'll start off with the mason jar and these sunflower seeds. Really straightforward, nothing to it. You open up the canister and just fill it up. Now, what I do is I like to uh, find the germination rate on these too. So I plant 10 of these so that I'm going on a scale of uh, 10 to 100 or 0 to 100 percent. And I got nine of these to germinate. And so I'm going to write on this that I got 90 percent germination on it. So it's pretty easy. Just fill this thing up. Try not to make a mess. You just put the lid on, screw it on. I used to let I I like to use this tape here, masking tape. Just slap a little on. Ah, that guy got loose. Slap a little on. What I'm gonna do here is gonna write the variety or sunflower. And these are the mammoths. 2012 and 90% is my germination rate. I'm going to write that on it. Pretty straightforward, easy way to do it. it goes right on my shelf, done deal. All right. Next, uh, I have these uh, Scotch bonnets. Now what I do is put a little masking tape on it. Like I said, masking tape is my best friend. Uh, open it up, simply pour the seeds in. Oh, little straggler. There you go. Make sure that this is nice and tight. 
and then I write on it, like this is S10, I go from A to Z obviously, and uh, 1 to 100. So right now I'm up to the S's, and I'll come in here, I already did this though, and I'll write S11, Scotch Bonnets, Hot Pepper, and there you go, let me show you that real quick. And I'm fortunate enough to have a friend that works up at the Great Lakes and he, uh, he charges a fishing boat so he gets these uh, cod, a whole mess of these cod uh, boxes. And this is what he uses for bait. And I simply just throw it in with the rest of my seeds here. Close it up. I've got it labeled here, 2012 S1 to S15. I can only fit 15 of them in here so I'll stack them all up on my shelves. Actually I put these in dresser drawers and that's a done deal. Bang, they fit in perfect and never had a problem yet. I've got hundreds of these so I'm fortunate enough to have them. Alright, and next we get down to the, uh, the coin bag. Now I already labeled this one Blue Lake 212 or 2012 and I got 100% germination out of these guys. And I'm just gonna pop these guys in this envelope. I'm gonna lick it, stick it, done deal. Now this I can't dip in water, obvious reasons it's paper. So what I do is I have these ammo containers that now this is for a uh, 50 cal shot here. And uh, these things are really great to store seeds in. These are just my tomato seeds right here. Because I'm doing a big order for somebody. Or a big trade. So I've got all my varieties of tomatoes in here that I give away for uh, seed trade after I'm done filling up my mason jars with the seeds that I'm saving for next year. And uh, then I package these guys up. So it's real easy. I just pull one out, pull out a couple of seeds, label it just like these, and I send them on the way with the rest of the seeds. And the cool thing about these is, let me bring this a little closer, it's got a rubber lip uh, rim around it. So when I bring this upstairs, I know that I'm getting an airtight seal and the water and moisture is going to get into this. And just like everything else, I can just dip this in a bucket of water, not worry about it. And these got stacked beautifully, and I've got hundreds of these filled up with uh, seeds. One day, if I ever own a gun, I'll also have all my ammo saved in these. So these things are really handy to have. I mean, you can use these as like jewelry boxes, anything that you don't want to get wet or damaged. Perfect. I mean, I can put all my money in one of these things and bury it outside, and it'll be good for a good hundred years. <laughs> so that's basically the way that I do my thing. Uh, like I said, the mason jar is very, very handy. Uh, these coin bags, they're a dime a dozen. And these painter jars, I was lucky enough to find them. If you can find any small container like this, and you don't necessarily have to put it in a wooden box like I have them. You can always put them in Tupperware. Same with these bags. These are a little harder to get into Tupperware or anything like that. So I just put these on a shelf, put them in alphabetical order so I know what kind of seed I got. And that's it. I like to be nice and organized when I do this. And after I'm done writing it on paper here, I'll go on to my computer. I made myself a program that I can just type in, like, let's say, bean gondolas, gondolas beans. I can just uh, go into my beans, write gondolas, right where I have it located, and I'll find it every time, no problem. So it's definitely good to be organized. It's definitely good to be, make sure that the seeds are nice and safe. And that's about all I got for you today. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, quick little video here. Uh, stay tuned for more, you know, updates in, on my garden, hopefully. I mean, it's getting October now, so might not have many uh, videos on the garden. But, hey, enjoy the channel, and that's about all I got for you today. So, everybody have a good night. Peace, love, all that good stuff, and Latro.